Hello Megorius, how is it going? Welcome to the first episode of Rogue Tech Flashpoint. Guys, I made a little survey and I was asking you whether or not I should finish my vanilla Battletech campaign before I start Rogue Tech and you said, uh, yeah, actually let's do that, but I cannot wait. Because a lot of people also said, hey, give me Rogue Tech now. And uh, I found a way to switch bef uh, back and forth between vanilla Battletech and Rogue Tech. And uh, I can actually do both. So my plan at the moment is I want to finish the vanilla Battletech career, very important. And um, whenever I have some time in between, I'm gonna see it in another episode of Rogue Tech so that we can get it started already, so that we can get it on the road already. If you wanna see more, uh, my Twitch streams will contain also uh, some Rogue Tech uh, with Flashpoint combined. And um, you can go over to Twitch TV slash Baradul, link is also down in the description. And uh, leave a follow there so that you'll see when I'm online. But anyhow, we'll play uh, the, the first Rogue Tech Flashpoint um, mission today or maybe two even and we're gonna start from scratch with Mr. Sidewinder here. His name is Casey Green and um, I have set him up in a way that I feel comfortable already. A bit of tactics, a bit of gunnery, a bit of piloting. No, guts and piloting are not actually relevant but tactics and gunnery. Gunnery is so damn important when you start out first in a new Rogue Tech campaign because you get some decent mechs in the, uh, from the start but your hit chances are garbage. Garbage. So let's see what we have. We have the pirate dragon. Oh, by the way, I had a, had a pirate background. I selected uh, Oberon as the starting planet. We get the pirate dragon. Um, this is interesting because that thing has uh, an AC5, pirate AC5, deals 20 damage and 20 heat damage. Also, flame breath, heat flamer thing with recall and damage variation. Uh, flame uh, flamer pirate and flamer pirate and then LRM pirates, which. Um, yeah, they ignore evasion and uh, they have also a damage variation and um, dead fire ammo. So plus 50% damage, plus 50% stability damage, minus 50 to all range brackets, which is good. That means you can shoot in shorter ranges. Um, I don't know if it affects minimum range though. Mm. So it's actually a, a, a debuff, like the minus 50% means that you cannot shoot at long ranges anymore. But um, anyhow. The interesting thing about the pirate uh, AC5 is that it deals uh, five times the damage to overheating targets, which is 100 damage, which is great, plus the variation damage. Uh, I think, I believe the variation damage will be applied before that, so you can go to 29 and that will be amplified by the five times multiplier then, I guess? So yeah, let's see how this goes, guys. This is a nice overheating dragon. Uh, we also got a crab 20. Uh, regular crap, large laser, medium laser, small laser, that's fine. Centurion, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? We have a rocket launcher Centurion with an AC-10+. plus. Gives us ah, crits, okay. I was hoping for something like uh, accuracy. Uh, this is a 5 damage laser, so this thing is just going in and tries to punch stuff. Has a primitive armor though. Okay. Does it do something? I can can leave it there. Why not? Primitive engine. Ugh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think I have to somehow rebuild that at some point. I don't know. Okay, so we go with this first. As our, our first max to drop with. We also have a stinger. Stingers are interesting. Wait, this thing is... Oh, wait, no, that's... Oh, God, that's a stinger. Yeah, we could have made a better roll on our starting lens, to be honest. That thing is actually not great. Okay, it's a 20 mech with two mediums. Then we have a flea. Okay. I think we're gonna take the flea here. Because the flea has uh, one flamer, two small lasers, one large laser. At least that. Okay. Also a 20 ton mech. And then there's a locust. Oh, wait. This is interesting. We have a medium laser plus with accuracy and then rocket launchers. Yeah. So... Two mediums, a heavy, and a light mech. I think we, we will go with the flea here. That's the most reasonable thing that we can do, probably. Let's take a look at the store. Maybe we can maybe we can see something interesting here that we can buy instantly. A flamer comes to mind, honestly. Yeah, I want that. I want the flamer. Also, anything that gives me accuracy. Ooh. Wow, wow. Well, that's one evasion pip ignored by the large laser. One accuracy with the weapon. It gets me a little bit more heat on the mech, but I think that's fine. The accuracy is exactly what I want. That thing is good. Costs us 200,000 though. 
but it would deal some good damage. It's 45 damage. Yeah, okay, let's go with this. Let's go with um, the Flamer as well. We're gonna rebuild a little bit before we even start the first mission. Here's the thing, guys. This game is deadly. This game is especially deadly when you are uh, not well equipped. So, um, I'm not, not, not really not well equipped. Th this game is deadly when you are uh, having a rookie lance. And that that's the reason here. So, drop the small laser, get the flamer in. Um, I want another flamer, actually. So how many heat sinks do we need, even? We need more. Mm, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This thing is difficult to manage. Uh, we can actually put the large laser in it. Oh no, let's go for the, the arm medium laser here as well. Man, I wish I had more medium lasers. I would definitely take them. We could technically buy some in the store. Right? Oh, we have access to two more flamers. And a small laser plus. Lower arm melee. Uh -huh. Not gonna take that. Okay, so here's what we do. We make the crab a uh, close range dude. New weapon systems available. The flamers need to do the job. Let's try to get there. Large laser off. Small laser on. Um, actually, let's pour, uh, let's put it in a head. Why not? There's that. There's that. And another small laser. And I feel that our heat management should be good now. Oh, that's okay at best. So I don't want to buy any heat sinks right now. That's the thing. And armor costs us a million days to actually upgrade, right? Ah, that's fine. Go to 115. Oh, wow, let's go for more legs. Oh my god. This crab is so weak on the legs. We need 90 on the legs at least. 110 here, 80 on the arms. Yeah, this should be fine. Give me one moment. Okay, let's go with this. Cost us 18 days to rebuild, but it's gonna be worth it. I need to be I need to be accurate. Um, this is another flamer that we see here. Small lasers, large lasers. Yeah, that's fine. I want to go with the overheating path in order to actually get some something done. Good. So, 18 days for the crab. We're gonna start the ship upgrade right away. I want the first repair and refit. That, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. I know, I'm wasting time here. I, AKA wasting. <laughs> or quote, quote unquote wasting time here. But it's gonna be worth it, guys. It's gonna be so worth it. I've been playing this on stream already, and the first missions can hey, actually wreck you. Because your mech warriors are not trained. The mechs are, they seem quite nice, but ew, those guys, not so much. Okay, so, who do we have here? Orders. Wait, Adrenaline? And What's Sidewinder? The You're the same, per same person! No! Waiting for orders. No! Yes, Commander. Alright, let's get the gunnery skill online, and then piloting afterwards, and then a point of guts. Uh, especially piloting, because there's a new initiative system that I want to show you guys. Okay, who else do we take? Standing by. Uh, I think it's... Mm, ooh. Orders? GV, Griffin Voyles. This guy seems good. It's a nice, nice picture there. I like it. Training complete. Um. Orders. Ready for orders. I think I want Mockingbird as well. I will go with maximum gunnery right now, as much as I can get. Standing by. And then there's Buckshot. Let's go. Receiving you. Right here. Good to go. Or blockade. We have two Ronins here. Three actually. Four. What? Crazy. Yeah, I think I will go with Blockade. I like his face. Okay, here we go. So we go with the piloting. Because uh, unsteady threshold and melee hit. This is another way to actually hit enemies. Uh, if you're not hitting them uh, in first place. Alright. So, let's uh, have the crap be ready. Yeah, first flash point is available. Good. And now we take a look at our first contracts. I want to go with as low as a skull as possible. We play a battle, one skull. Perfect. Uh, do we take money here? I think 2 out of 9 is not great salvage, so I will take the 400,001 uh, out of 5. Crab, Centurion, Dragon, and the Flea, as I was saying. Go! 
Sidewinder on the dragon. We have Mockingbird on the flea. We will take GV on the Centurion and Blockade on the Crab. Alrighty guys, are you ready for the first mission? We have a lance value of 1 against a battle uh, with difficulty 1 skull. But it's gonna be hard because the enemies might hit us more than we hit them. And uh, again, that's that's the early game struggle. As soon as you get some XP on your mech warriors, which you should try to get fast, um, the better it is. Okay. Your name is in the mouth of others. Make sure it has teeth. That sounds weird. But okay. So we're playing against the local government. Alright. Preparing for combat. What we need early on is uh, some baseline equipment. We actually need heat sinks. We need a bunch of medium lasers. We need, um, I don't know, jump jets. All the, the base... The base equipment parts. Otherwise, we cannot try to optimize our builds. Okay, I really hope they don't have reinforcements. If they have reinforcements, we are so screwed. Okay. So here's how the new initiative system works. We have initiative reaching from 30 to 1. 30 being the best, 1 being the worst. Your initiative is based on your tactics and piloting skill and the weight of your mech. Not the class, the weight class, but the weight of your mech. So I think it's brackets of 10 tons from starting from 20 to 100, so 20 to 25, then 30 to 35. Um, that has an impact on your initiative. And then there is a little bit of a randomization each round, each round. Um, and uh, from that point on, uh, it's going down um, as per usual. Locking down people gives you minus one initiative. If you have the Juggernaut ability, it's minus five, I believe. Um, and so on and so on. So you can manage initiative still. And as you can see, the dragon is at the moment in initiative turn eight. The crab is 12, Centurion 13, and the flea is 11. Had a very bad roll on his or her initiative here. Uh, we're gonna reserve to turn one. Aye, aye. Holding. This takes some time now. Sensors have something. All right. All right, all right, Holy reserve even further damage. just to make sure now we can okay, go. I'll be right here. Yeah. Mockingbird, give me line of sight. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, you sprint over here. Copy that, Commander. Ah, there's another guy. Good, you're done. Wait I want to set up somewhere in the forest. Let's go over here. On the way. It's a Centurion and everybody else, basically. Okay, crab doing crab things. And Sidewinder on the dragon. Have no doubt it will be done. Alright, new initiative. And as you might tell, Sidewinder was in uh, turn 8 before. Now he's turn 9, so he got a little bit of a higher initiative. Mockingbird starts in 12. Hmm. I don't dare doing anything right now. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ready. GV, no. Okay, can Just you go? No. But we wait for them to do Roger something that. completely. By. Seven. Sadly, I cannot see if they are reserving with me because I'm missing the bar on top. But it's okay. I actually like this idea of having some kind of initiative Stand system by. here. Alright. See dead. what that is. It's a tank! It's a bulldog! Okay, large lasers, small lasers, go! Ah, oh, that's good. We can deal with that. Commander. On my what way. do we have here? A Double Saladin AC-20. Needs to go immediately. Uh, another thing that um, weapons now have, especially ballistic weapons, is a jam chance. Uh, it depends on... Oh god, was it the gunnery or gut skill to unjam it again? But yeah, it's just the way it is right now. Rockets. Yes. Solid connection on that one. All right. My flamer's empty. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> cool. So here we go, guys. Confirm. The crab. Oh, there was a mech. There was something interesting. I want to destroy the other tank here, the bulldog as well. So we don't actually need much to get the salad in down. I think I'm gonna shoot the flamers. Not all of them, though. Okay, so. I think this is what I want to do. Confirmed. So AC-20 is destroyed. 
tank is uh, crumbling. All right. And the bulldog was not hit. Yes, commander. That's fine for me. Sprinting. So now we are completely engaged. We have a 59% hit chance on the pirate AC. That's perfectly As fine for me. It still misses. And this is the thing that I'm talking about. Negative if damage. the enemy just have enough time to shoot you back all the time, Commander. you will die. Okay. Um, a stomp doesn't do too much, honestly. That's funny. Okay. We have very good hit chance, though, if we go in like this. Rolling. It's a Jäger mag! Oh my god! I didn't expect a Jäger! I was thinking something easy! <gasps> the flea's dead. The flea's just so dead! Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, let's make sure that the Bulldog is down. This should be good. Alright, Bulldog destroyed. We somehow have to attract the fire of the Jäger to the bigger mechs. He's turned 12. Uh, so is GV. Ready for orders. So he needs to push forward. And go in. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Acknowledged. Please shoot my centurion. That would be much appreciated. Does uh, an offensive push do something? No. Because it's only bringing back the enemy in one turn. And you see, the others are 8 and 7. And he is like 12. That's not possible. Uh, armor is holding. Armor is holding. Okay, rockets down. Thank you. Taking heavy hits, Commander. Oh yeah, you did. You did. All right, we have the flamers ready. I want to overheat this guy, and then follow up with my dragon. Actually, we can go over hit threshold here. It doesn't uh, give us internal damage. Aha! Just a chance on shutting down. Awaiting uh, orders. What's that? Cattle master. Uh, we're gonna ignore the cattle master for the moment. So, that's 65 and 71%. Luckily, the Jägermeck didn't move that far. Oh, come on. I, I want to sprint over here. No? Mm, flame Breath would go up to 71. If I sprinted. Mm. I think this is better. I, wa I want to get the heat on the guy. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Very good. Right, some damage here. By the way, I have armor repair on, so the less damage we take, the better it is in general. Okay. Um, Where is he? He is turn 7. Good. Sidewinder is turn 10. That means that we can reserve... Reserve... Okay, Sidewinder. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting, guys. Is he gonna stay there? Now I want to engage from the front because I want to have a higher hit chance. As you wish. On the head. Okay, let's see if we can somehow finish that Jägermeck off. What's he running in terms of engine, by the way? <gasps> Double heatsink kit. Oh my god, I want that. How do I get it? Hmm. Hmm. Not shooting the flamers. Saving some heat. Flame breath is good because it deals more damage to overheating targets. Let's go. Ah, that's what I thought. It's okay. Whoops. Sorry, your arm fell off. On good. Commander. GB. Um, starting to shoot the cattle master. No. Roger that. We of course, try to head it again. Target acquired. And we got it. Oh my god. Can I some can I even get the um Yeah. What's it called? The double heatsink kit? I don't know exactly. Uh so anyhow. Yeah, that's what the crab does. Hello, crab. Move order received. Crab is a little bit hot, but you know what? I don't care. Giving them everything I've got. 30 heat on the target. Oh yeah. Got an override successful. That's good. My yeah, yeah, I know. I know. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry, man. Okay, so the flea has a cooldown turn. 
what the Kettle Master is doing. He has ridiculous initiative. Doing nothing. Alright, alright, alright. In that case... In that case, we're gonna engage from here again. Uh, you can shoot everything. Again, worst case scenario is we shut down. And the Kettle Master is gonna die, die soon. Yep. Okay. On my way. Let's be super point blank. And... Lock Try this. Okay, that's an arm down. We got some more heat on the guy. And now we got the shutdown. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Anyhow, this Kettle Master is still giving us some hard time, but he is unsteady now. Which means that we can do this. No doubt it Hello. Will be done. Hello. Hello, Kettle Master. You should never come. Uh huh. Still not overheating, but he panicked out. All right. Mission successful. Mission successful. All right, that was pretty good. Um, yeah, as you could see, I was a bit scared uh, on what might have come there, but we were able to manage this. All right. I gotta be careful. Especially early on, when the pilots cannot um, pull themselves out of tough situations. Uh, yeah, we, we, we got parts. Two, four parts only. Oh yeah, we were missing an arm on the Jäger mech. This Jäger mech is interesting, I gotta say, but... Mm, what we want is better stuff. Laser damage heat? No. Primitive armor? No. Ferrofibrous? Maybe. Fusion core? 260, pretty good. It's a lot of, a lot of money. There's the double heatsink kit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, two million. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I just realized. Ah, they changed that. Got also the Jäger mech part, which I'm super happy about. And an SRM4, which is uh, okay. It's fine, I guess. It's okay. Um, Yeah, with the double heatsink upgrade kit, you can just slap it on the, uh, on the mech now. There's a slot for it, so you just uh, apply it. And um, you can take it out without taking out the engine anymore. So that workaround is gone. And I'm super happy about that. Thank you, Mortis. Thank you so much. By the way, if Lady Elect was watching, uh, I, I ex actually know what you're thinking right now. Yeah, I got scared. I got scared for a reason. And maybe you know why. Good. Six days of repair. Uh, where would I put my double heatsink kit? Into the crap. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Crap. It's not even damaged. We start building it. There it is. We quickly need another medium mech. Oh, double heat sink kit. Look, there's a cooling slot now. You can put that in there. Takes two days only. And all of a sudden... BAM! A heat neutral crab. Oh my god. That's pretty good. Extremely good. You know what? With that, we can even bring the large laser back. We can... Um, Ah, no, we don't have the tonnage, obviously. Yeah, maybe, maybe, I don't know. We have no support hardpoints yet, but I'm thinking about... I don't know what I'm thinking about. It's working, and that's good. We can drag out a heatsink for... What to do? Is this possible? Give me a second, guys. Uh, mm. No, I want the large laser. I actually want to keep it. Keep it here. I mean, this would be possible. I guess. I think that's not too bad. Yes, we had a heat delta of 30 still. Mm. But 30 is manageable. And we have a second large laser as a result. I want to play it. I want to play it like that. Okay, next mission coming up soon. Uh, and we need an Argo upgrade. All right. Let's see. So, power system. All right, I'll get the team on it right Let's away. get that thing gone, uh, done so that we can uh, start upgrading. Durian, ready. Dragon, ready. People out of fatigue, good. That, work order's complete, that was quick. Top notch work, if I may say Top notch so. work. So, with this we can actually afford the second mech bay. That's one of the first right, things that we ready? need to get, because that will uh, uh, enable us to repair two mechs at the same time. That Very good. Is complete. Uh, XP. Let's see. Skill points! We need them. Standing by. 
Okay, no. To be no. No. What's the plan? No. I forgot we don't get good XP here. <laughs> and the uh, uh Macroyer progression is way, way lower. So target acquisition. Uh no, I want something with Ooh. Ooh. Repossession. Destroy base. You know what? We play the assassination mission here. We have good salvage. And again, this is the thing that I, I need early. And we're gonna play it like that again. It might be a little bit, <clears throat> and with a little bit, I mean a lot harder than we than the things that we had before, because we were running against tanks and enemies without armor, or with low armor. Let's see. So assassination is usually something that um, brings the assassination target with a higher rating than the skull rating that you have. And I have set my, um, my difficulty in a way that my skull rating can be one skull higher or lower than my than the actual little um, rating here. So it could be half a skull or it could be two skulls. And with, if it's a two skull, then the assassination target will be three skull, which is, I don't know if that's already heavy mech territory, but we will see about that. Also, I don't know how the, the enemy composition is working right now. That might have changed. Okay. There they are on top. Can I? No, I cannot go over here. So I had to take the top. Damn it. There. Hmm. Waiting for orders. I have a feeling that I want to let them come completely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh huh. Lots of movement in turn 11 and 12. So I believe it's. Light max, mostly. Okay. There was movement in turn 7. So, might be a heavy. Standing by. Set up an ambush here. Full speed. No target. Alrighty. How might I help? It's like this. Roger. Full mm -hmm. speed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. Acknowledge. That's the crab. And GB on the Centurion. That thing needs a build. I mean, the rockets are interesting, but they are one shot, and then medium laser and then AC10 is not that much. Come over here, guys. I want to see you. I want to hit you. So, turn 18 is definitely a light mech. Yeah, they are all, all going super fast here. It's pretty good that we have the sensors. Waiting for orders. Comes a crab. And we see a commando. All right. So, your chances are okay. I copy. And there goes an arm already. Very good. That's an SRM-6 Flamer Medium Laser Commando. How are the SRMs fueled? Commando 3A. Regular SRM ammo. Okay. Standing by. That's fine. I th think we don't shoot the rockets yet. I'm, I'm not here. too afraid of this guy. Target confirmed. Okay, that's the other arm. <laughs> Bam goes the AC. Oh, like <laughs> nice one. Okay, yeah, we can bring the locust now. Ah, flee. Sorry, flee. Not a locust, it's a flea. Flee, you fools. I'm there. Get out of here. Right. Fire. Damn it. I was hoping that the large laser would hit, but we have still our secret weapon. It's our dragon. Okay. Some LRMs. Yes, so, what would the dragon do? Mm -hmm. We can shoot all of our flaming weapons. 26 seat on the guy. Okay. Um. Waiting for orders. Mockingbird can actually punch this guy. Would it do something with 12 damage? Absolutely not. Instead, we get closer. Rolling. We keep shooting. Firing all weapons. All weapons. Let's go. Scored a critical hit. Right, he's unsteady. He's turn 13 though, so we won't be able to engage him once more. He's running away. Okay. Okay, so that's fair. There comes the big guy. I don't know if I want to engage him yet. Let them come closer. Aye, aye. Yeah, that's risky. 
That's super risky. We're gonna reserve. Holding for an advantage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure about this. I let him come. I'm gonna pull back here. Friend! Tactical retreat! Here we go. I understand. Commander? Yeah, you too. You too, man. Uh, like over here? No, over here. No okay. Uh, two Good evasion. Line. It's not the best, but hey, it's yeah. something. And you go over here and brace. Maybe they will shoot the crab. Might be. All right. Uh, so far, so good. This also seems like a light mag. It doesn't necessarily have to be something with high tonnage, but it might be something with high value. Commander? I want to get eyes on this guy. Do I? Not really. Um. Standing by. Holding back. Completely. Acknowledged. Let's bait them in. I don't know what's coming there. So, might as well play it safe. So, Mr. Krabs. Hello. Oh, it's a Drillson. Okay, that's a tank. Large laser, SRM, LRM-10 and machine guns. Uh, we fire everything because this thing has some armor. Yep. 35 damage. Not quite enough to destroy. But I think it's better than shooting. I think it is, yeah. We're gonna go melee here. 66%! Come on! Yep, that's what I'm talking about. 24 damage is needed. Die. Sidewinder. Can you finish it? Oh, by the way, a thing that I forgot to mention is that um, auto cannons can now jam. So if you're not sure about shooting, then don't shoot. Because they can jam. Also, you can save recoil. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. We don't need much damage on the front. I think the LRMs will just do it. Hmm. <clears throat> the LRMs will I'm just do it. Away. Hello. Poor damage. At least we have the locust. Waiting for orders. It's a flea. God damn it, Barodul. It's not a locust. It's a flea. Ordinance received. Okay, not the large laser. Saving the heat for later. I should have shot the large laser. Yes, Commander. <gasps> Damn it! Heading out. We don't need much. Can you please? Please get it done. Taking the shot. Thank you. Good. Drills and down. Vehicle down. And what now? Hey, it's an urban bank! Oh my god. Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, he has a Devil's AC-20. <laughs> uh, help. Help. Reporting. It is an urban mech. Guys. I can and should engage him already. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we do. Alright, this time we shoot the AC. He's going down. 26 heat on the guy. That's pretty good. I'm receiving you. Yes, you're receiving me. 30% is good enough for me to shoot the rockets now. Um, no, not a, not offensive push. We go all in on the urban mech. Should have shot the rockets first, to be honest. There was a chance that he was made unsteady. Didn't matter in the end, but you know, just optimization. Please, getting damage from the commando. Is he is he now perma unsteady? Seems like it. Having no arms to stabilize him anymore. Maybe. Also, enemies are just going back and forth all the time. Okay. The flea. I am scared. He's turn 11. Can I push him back to a reasonable number? No. Nope. Offensive push doesn't do anything, but we will shoot a large laser. Nothing. Okay. Please don't hit your devil's AC-20. That's a myth. Please. Don't, 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 don't. No, leave my flea alone. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Okay. Low roll on the damage number, guys. Low roll on the damage. My neck is coming apart around me. Is he saying something? Oh, we got so lucky there. The, the um, uh, Devil's AC-20 has a crazy uh, weapon damage variation. So there was only... What was that? 20 damage? Reduced by 20%? Something like that. I'm here. Yep, you were here. Um, let's punch him. Make him unsteady. Acknowledge. Alright. That should do it. Also, Clang minus 2 initiative. Uh, the bigger the hits are, the more initiative you would lose. So an Assault Mech punching a Light Mech would put a lot of momentum in behind his punch and uh, make him, making him, you know, if it's not killing, then uh, it gets down the initiative quite, quite, yeah, a lot. Who's... Commander. You are. Hmm. Hey, Orby. I'm sorry, I'm awfully sorry, but I have to take your stuff. All weapons also overheating you. Structure exposed, heat critical. Damn it. Yeah, that's fine. Damage. I am looking for the AC-5, the pirate AC-5. You have orders? To now hit the guy with all of its might. That thing should do 100 damage now if it hits. Let's see. Yes, Commander. Yeah, 107. That was a very good damage variation there. Okay. Herbie on the ground. Herbie shut down. Hmm. Okay. He's running away. The target is retreating, Commander. You cannot retreat, man. Wait, he says error. Why does he say error? Oh, because it doesn't have an initiative right now. Oh, oh okay. That's interesting. I think I found a bug. There. Yeah. Error. Yes, Commander. Okay. Mm, you know what? Let's get the Snoozians out of the way there, up there. Order acknowledged. Yep. I will not shoot a small laser. Engaging target. Oh, come on. But I didn't go for the urban mech. Because somebody else can take the kill. And I want... Uh, and I want... What do I want, actually? Roger. I want to go to the... To the water. Try to take his leg, right? Affirmative. Possible? I think we killed him! Somehow! Alright, so let's get some more salvage. Commando is still there, hopefully not destroying my flea. Yeah, I gotta be a bit careful with the flea because, you know, 5 damage on the leg is not really a lot anymore. 37% is absolutely reasonable to take the snapshot. Do it. And we hit. He's down to 4 health. That's pretty good. Uh, he also should be knocked down. Solid connection on that one. Yes. Pilot kill. Um, let me see. One out of three. Good. Yes, Commander. But yeah, Sidewinder can now go in Confirmed. and finish the job. I think we will just go in with the flamer. Two flamers. Or the pirate LRM. Yeah. More hit chances, more individual hit chances to hit the center, That's and okay, everybody. Uh, it doesn't generate so much heat. Her. Stuff. Okay, you're done. Yes, Commander. Let's get Sidewinder in again. I want to see what it is. Technical. Uh, light rifle, machine gun, and a large laser. Centaurus. We can hit hit the technical thing easier. Okay, that's a kill. Maybe I should have shouldn't have been so afraid of all of this. I don't know. What do you need? Okay. Uh, get down there. On my way. Double time. I like the crab guys with the double heatsink upgrade kit and the flamers and the large lasers. I'm it's ready. pretty good for early game shooting right now. On the way. Double it's a very time. nice one. You're done. Uh, Mockingbird is yes, Commander. just staying out of it. Alrighty. No, Mockingbird. I said you stay out of it. 
Large laser. Did not connect. All right. We go. Um, hmm, reserve. Waiting to pounce. I could stomp him, and it would kill. I understand. I misclicked, obviously. Locking on target. Yeah, I definitely misclicked that. I will be done. Okay. Calling you have to do it then. The Centurion really needs to be reworked. This is just not good. The AC-10 is quite nice. It's pretty good, actually. However, yep. the rest of it... Mm, mm. Don't like the build in general. All the rockets are gone now. But so is the tank. Alright. So, all targets eliminated. Mission successful. I really need something bigger than the flea. The flea might be nice for scouting, but... It's so damn squishy! So bringing, bringing the flea in the, into the fight is so risky. But yeah, let's see. What do we get? An urban mech, R666. Ah, I see what you did there. Devilish. Improved AC range. Ah, that's why. Okay. I might even take this. Let's put it in there for the moment. There's another pirate, lay, uh, pirate flamer. Here's the thing, that thing can deal 35 damage, or 5, or anything in between. And deals bonus damage against overheating targets. Now, but seriously, what do we need? What is it that we really, really need? This is a 50% crit bonus machine gun. That's pretty good. Uh, fusion core for money. That's a thing. Okay. That's the targeting system ballistic, guys. Plus one accuracy with ballistic weapons. Oh, Patchwork Materials 3 is also extremely good. And the spiked helmet. Plus 10% melee damage. And one injury resisted. But we will get that later. Was it on the urban rack? Ah, the patchwork would enable us um, getting a little bit more armor on our guys already. So I, I consider this being an armor upgrade. Very good, but so is the ballistic system. You know what? We drop the urban mech, we take both. We take the targeting system ballistic and we take the patchwork. Ah, oh, we get Urbi anyway. And the machine gun with the. No, the light machine guns, which is also nice. Alright, guys. That was a nice start. I'm gonna uh, call it a day here already and uh, I wanna you to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Is it gonna be too much if I release Rogue Tech alongside Battletech? Um, and um, how do you feel when I say I want to uh, finish my Battletech career and whenever I have some time to seed in another Rogue Tech episode, I'm gonna do it and I cannot promise you to do it daily. So I just wanted to have you, or I just wanted you to have a little bit more content for all of you Rogue Tech crazies who are waiting. But again, leave a comment down below so I know. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, also don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel, channel if you want more of this. And if you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.